Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing how to create your own gauge cluster. First, we're gonna create the main pins or lines in Blender. Then we're gonna move over to Figma where we're gonna add a couple more things to make it look better. And then finally, we're gonna import it into Unreal Engine. So with that, let's get started. In Blender, press seven to go into top view, then five to go into auto graphic view, then shift A to add a circle, and then shift A again to add a cube and then go into edit mode for the cube and then just scale it down to how you want it to look and then while still in edit mode move the cube to the edge of the circle and then head out of edit mode then over at the modifiers i'm going to add an array modifier and then deselect the relative offset select the object offset the object in choice is the circle and then the one i will be making for the tutorial will be a 11 pin gauge cluster so 0 to 10 but you can create however many you want the method will be the same you'll just have to do a little math to figure out the angle of rotation and then you're going to rotate it negatively around at negative 27 as you can see there has been a slight movement of center so to fix that we're going to go to the top select the transform pivot point set it to 3d cursor head into edit mode and then rotate 27 degrees to set the first pin down on the y and the last pin down on the x and then we're gonna add a camera then we're gonna head into camera view pressing zero and then shift in the squiggly line below the escape so we can freely move the camera and then we're gonna set the camera resolution to form a square so 1080 by 1080 and then i'm going to change the camera's perspective from perspective to orthographic because i want it to be a flat image set the orthographic to 2.4 have a flat image and then finally we're going to add a light source so we can see all the lines properly and then to top it off so we can get the transparency we're going to head over to the output oh no by the render Head over to film, select the transparent. I am using cycles to render this image out. And then finally, we are going to render out the image. With the image rendered, we're gonna save it by the downloads. Make sure that it is a PNG file with the RGBA selected so we can get the alpha. And then we're gonna save it, close. And then we're gonna head over to Figma. So now in Figma, when you create an account, you will most likely be dropped by the draft where you will see the Figma basics and the FigJam whiteboarding 101. Then over to the top, we're gonna see create new. We're gonna create a new design file. And then in the design file, we are going over to the shapes, the top. Currently set to rectangle, click on the arrow. And then we're gonna take an eclipse. The shortcut is zero. Then we're gonna click and hold the left click and then hold shift to make it as a square going to make this 400 by 400 it doesn't matter if you don't get it um, perfectly as you drag it you can head over to the width and height it is by default locked and then you can just set it to 400 that's fine and then we're gonna set the fall for this particular eclipse down to zero to be empty and then we're gonna control d to duplicate this eclipse and then we're gonna set the fall to 100 and then we're gonna control shift k to place an image the image we're placing is the one we got from blender and then when I place this on the duplicated eclipse, so now you can see it is a completely transparent image with the bottom eclipse there. The reason for the low eclipse is simply because if the image is at is the last item, the bottom item, then when you import it into Unreal, sometimes there can be um, some fill in the corners, a uh, blue fill, which we don't want. So this is the way that I found to mitigate that from happening. And then we're just gonna create a couple of effects just to make this look a little bit better. So we're gonna control D, the first eclipse, and then move this one on top of the image eclipse. Then this one, we're gonna set the fill to 25. We're gonna change the color. We're gonna try and be consistent through the tutorial series, make it a shade of purple. So I'm gonna show how to make the little lines over here. So to do that, we are going to create a new eclipse, control D. And then this eclipse, we are going to head over to the stroke, increase the thickness, click the three lines on the side over here. And then it says stroke style as solid. We're gonna change that to dash. 
So now we have those dashes and then we're going to set the number to 10. And then what we're going to do is we are going to have to modify the shape itself. So here it says arc. So drag the arc out to the bottom pin until it looks like this. And then we're going to head over here to the top. It says edit object. Click on that. And then you're going to see we have access to the lines. Click on the line over here and then press delete. And then do the same for the other line. Click on it and then delete. And then now we have that. Then we're going to head over here and say done. So now this is what this looks like. So we need to downscale the eclipse a bit. So then you can change the endpoints as well. You can set them to line. You can set them to rounded. You can change how it looks. I'm simply just going to leave it as none. And then what you can do is you can play around with the dash and gap to make these you make it 20 you have thicker lines you make it like one then you have much thinner lines so we're gonna set this to five as you can see there's a little bit of a gap over here as well to get that just select the image and then we're gonna make this one also a little bit bigger or you can make everything else a little bit smaller obviously there's gonna be a lot more tweaking that happens so you can get this to look proper as you wish but i'm just gonna make this sort of rushed version and then we're gonna select everything and then control g to make it a group and then now we're gonna make the needle so we need a new one so we're gonna head over to the shapes select on a rectangle now the reason for this is that so that we, when we bring it into unreal engine we don't have to do a whole lot of math to try and get the needle to fit properly where we can add a boundary of the same size as the cluster and then it will make it so much easier then we don't have to do the math to try and make everything fit properly and look as though it there's nothing wrong with it so this one extra step is going to save you a whole lot of work once you actually import it into Android engine so we're going to do the same thing as the with eclipse just drag it over we're going to make it 400 by 400 and then just center this and then select the full set this to zero and then to make the needle we are going to the shapes again and we're going to select a line and then in the middle just drag the line and then we're going to increase its thickness we're going to change the ends to be rounded it just looks better and then we're going to move the line itself until it is perfectly in the center with everything else this will also help when it comes to importing then we don't have to do math to try and get it to align properly to everything else and then we're going to hide the first group we made and then select the rectangle and the line and then control g turn that into our second group and then if you want to add numbers you're going to have to do that manually here at the top there's t for text and then you're going to um, left click and hold and then create a box and then in the box you want to add the number and then over here in the design panel there are some options over here you can align to the center and then these will make like a foot box so it fits the number perfectly you will have to duplicate the number all the way across so to duplicate you hold alt and then just drag over to the side and then place it where you want to place it and then to edit you double click on the selected text and then change the number and then so forth and so forth all the way around i'm going to do that real quick so now that i'm done with that i also made a slight change i moved the eclipse that held the small lines below the image because i didn't like the fact that it was overlapping and showing above the main lines so i just moved those okay so one thing i forgot to add was the red area over here so to do that i'm going to take one of the eclipses probably take the third one and then control d duplicate it and then here on the eclipse there's a little part here that says arc if you would select it then just drag that out a bit so you can get access to the ratio and then drag the ratio out to the place where you might want the red area to be and then just change the sweep so the sports car in the tutorial goal changes at 7000 rpm so i'm going to put it at 7000 maybe for 10 and then i want to go to the full change the color to red and then that is how you make the red area on the speedometer so with that done, I'm going to export group one. So to export it, make sure the group is selected. In the detail panel on the right, there's a part at the bottom that says 
export i already have it here but normally it would look like this so you would have export click on the plus and then make sure it's a png and then export group one then we're going to drop it in the downloads make sure it's a png image and then save unhide the other group hide the first group and then do the same thing make sure the group is selected head over to the export plus png export group two save and then we're going to head over to unreal engine so now we are in unreal engine we're going to place the images where the widgets are because we're going to be adding it to the vehicle ui widget so in a free space right click head over to import then we're going to import group one first you can import both but sometimes you there might be an image a uh, message that pops up on unreal when you import them but this time it didn't um so the message i refer to is it will pop up on the right hand side it would say something like um the image name has been imported as a normal texture and it will give you two options to either press ok or revert if you do get that message then hit revert and then it will import it as this with a black background if it has a blue background then you have imported it incorrectly and you're going to have to redo it now we're going to import the needle and select the needle import and as it imported correctly and that's where we are going to leave this video in the next one we are going to create the material for the gauge cluster set it up so it works with the vehicle so that will be in the next video but until then 